Hi friends, today I want to share with you my top three favorite astrology tools. These tools, websites, apps, and software have been incredibly helpful in deepening my understanding of divining through astrology. I hope that these recommendations and endorsements will be very useful to you on your journey as they have been for me. Let's dive in because you know darn well that I recommend way more than three things. For those watching the video version, you can see that I am recording in another new location. My house was flooding, so we had to move things around to make it usable. I'm not in love with the sound in this corner, so we'll see what I can do about it. I appreciate your patience with my mess. Okay, so let us begin. Let's start with websites, and I'm going to start with astro.com. So if you're looking for a comprehensive and reliable astrology resource, astro.com is definitely worth checking out. This website is a go-to for many astrologers and it's very easy to see why. It was my first online resource as an astrologer and holds a very special place in my heart. It has a very wide range of free tools and features. If you head over to their website and you click on horoscopes or the menu, you come up with many, many options for things. We have forecast reports, we have articles and resources on many different astrological topics. One of my favorite things when I was first starting out was the Astro Click Portrait, Astro Click Love, Astro Click Partner. They even have a locational astrology section, the Astro Click travel and local space and when you go to your lines you can click on them and be given information on that also super duper cool the astro click portrait you can click on anything in your chart and be given information on that as well so also lastly astro data bank is one of my favorite things it allows you to search for and view celebrity and historical charts which is very useful as an astrologer so astro.com really has something for everyone, whether you're a beginner looking to learn more about astrology or an experienced astrologer looking to explore more. Uh, this website is a fantastic resource. So it might be kind of overwhelming at first. The website is kind of, I would, I would not consider it very intuitive, but once your eyes adjust to all of the options, it's very easy and I use it regularly. I have a lot of charts saved up in there from when I was young. If I had to pick one website, it would be astro.com, but I'm going to give you two more options as well that I endorse and recommend. And the next one is AstroSeek. So if you're seeking a different vibe, AstroSeek is a great option. It offers a wealth of information and resources and continues to improve and stay up to date. I see the updates on Twitter all the time. There are interactive birth chart calculators. We have daily, weekly, monthly horoscopes, um, an amazing astro tools tab with a monthly astro calendar, ephemeris tables, retrogrades, aspects, lots of stuff. It also has uh, transit and progression reports, compatibility reports, all the basics, all the basics. Um, it also has a Famous People Astro Database, and um, I like this one a lot. Also, there's a Moon Phase Calendar, and there's articles and resources on a variety of topics also. And I believe they also list some astrologers and astrology services on the website as well. And there's so much more, so much more. All the branches of astrology, um, everything. So whether you're just starting to explore astrology or you're a seasoned pro, AstroSeek is highly recommended and definitely worth checking out and putting into your Astro toolbox. Okay, and let's go to the, th the next website. The last website I'm gonna talk about is Cafe Astrology. And so if you're brand spanking new to astrology and looking for a beginner friendly resource, Cafe Astrology is the option in my opinion. The website offers a range of articles, tutorials, and other resources that can help you get a feel for how astrology works and how to start interpreting your own chart. 
So there are birth cart, birth chart calculators, month, horoscopes, articles on a variety of topics, especially um, one of my favorite, let's see, one of my favorite things to do on here when I'm talking to new astrologers is the birth chart interpretations section. It has all the planets through all the signs, all the planets through all the houses, and um, it has aspects, it has retrogrades, it has elements, it has so many, many things. Um, there's information on the modalities, the nodes, there's uh, Venus retrograde in birth charts. There's so many cool things on this website. And um, they also have links to Astro software and other resources, which is really cool. So if you're just beginning your astro journey, or if you're seeking to refresh your foundational knowledge, Cafe Astrology is an ideal starting point. And like I said, this website is stocked with a plethora of information and it boasts a very simple to use interface, making it a very exceptional resource for those eager to learn more about their placements, their houses, all of that, and maybe read about people you know also, just to learn more about the archetypes, you know? So those are the three websites that I recommend and endorse. We have astro.com, we have astroseek, and we have Cafe Astrology. And Cafe Astrology is the best one for beginners. And then I would say astro.com for beginners. And astroseek's a little more advanced, but still beginners could use it. No problem. So let's move on to apps. I have a bunch of apps and I've tried so many and I'm going to list out three apps that I recommend and that I endorse. So I'm going to start with time passages. And for those who are looking for a very versatile astro app, time passages is a very excellent choice in my opinion. It's a very good app for both beginners and experienced astrologers alike but I really recommend it for newbies, okay? It puts a wealth of astrological information and tools at your fingertips, making it very easy to learn more about the planets and their meanings, or planets in certain signs and their meanings, or in houses. This app is very suitable for all astrology enthusiasts of all levels, offering a range of features and tools that are both free and paid. There is a pro version including calculation of your chart, the sun, moon, rising signs, the current astrology aspects, um, very acclaimed interpretations, compatibility analysis with other individual charts, um, an in-depth glossary of zodiac signs, planetary bodies, moon phases, and other astrological terms, which is really cool. Um, there are transit charts, progression charts, solar art charts, bunch of stuff, much more too. Um, and Time Passages is ab available both on iOS and Android devices, making it easily accessible to everybody. The free option is totally worth it, and the paid version, the pro version, is even more worth it, in my opinion. Uh, whether you're a beginner or just starting to explore astrology, or if you're a seasoned pro, this app is a very valuable resource. Okay, the second app I wanna talk about is Astro Gold. If you're willing to invest in a more comprehensive astrology app, Astro Gold is a top notch choice. This is by far my favorite app. Astro Gold is a high quality app that offers precise calculations and professional astrological interpretations, which is more than some apps can say. The app includes uh, the option to store chart files in your iCloud drive, which is really convenient. It allows you to access the same chart files across multiple iOS devices, as well as the advanced Mac version of Astro Gold, which we will get into soon. Um, but this makes it even easier to work with all of your Astro data, no matter where you are, and that's very convenient. This app offers a wide array of tools, including the classic birth chart calculator and it being interactive, um, an in-depth analysis of your birth chart, including planetary placements and aspects. It can cast natal charts, solar return charts, lunar return charts, secondary progressions. Um, it has grid versions of the chart. It has single chart wheels, bi wheels, tri wheels. Um, again, an aspect grid sinistry grids, and so much more. 
It's a bit more advanced than time passages, so it might be best suited for those who have a little bit more of an astrological background. But even if you're new to astrology, Astral Gold is a great resource for learning and exploring and growing in your practice. Its um, extensive range of features and tools make it a very valuable asset for any astrology enthusiast, and I highly recommend Astro Gold. Okay, our third app that I'm going to talk about that is one of my faves that I recommend, Time Nomad. So for astrology enthusiasts seeking to take their practice to the next level, Time Nomad is an excellent resource, especially because it's free. This app offers a very wide range of advanced features, including profiles, configuring it to your phone's preferences. Um, there's an, astro an astrology chart for now, which is really cool. There's what I use it for the most is the planetary hours area because I can't find that anywhere else. That's real time for your location. Super duper cool for when you wanna do magic at the right time. If you're trying to hang out with Saturn, doing something for Saturn at Saturn's hour is primo. So I love the planetary hours aspect of this app. Um, it also does moving through time. It has a real time dashboard. There's a tap to learn ability. Um, there's a global and personal events forecast that sends you alerts or sends you noties in the morning. And there's a widget for it in the notification center. So I have a couple widgets using it and there's much more. I haven't even been able to explore all of the uh, tools within that app. So it does offer a very well, it offers a wealth of foundational astro knowledge. And it, with this though, I do want to warn you that it does not provide an interpretation or try to answer like, what does it mean for me type of question. Instead, it leaves this task to the user's skills as the interpreter. With that being said, the app does provide a great deal of supporting astro and astronomical information that can help users gain insights and make reflections on their own. It really helps you learn more this way. The information is included in many of the app's different views and can help users understand astro concepts and theories a lot more deeply with this app. It's both available on iOS and Android and is definitely worth exploring if you're looking to expand your astrological knowledge and your skills, which I know you are. Um, okay, I have a couple other thoughts about apps and while there can be many astrology apps available, it can be difficult to find one that offers a level of depth and accuracy that you resonate with. Um, and so those are the three that I recommend, but there's two others that I know are popular and that people like. We have Chani's app, which is a great choice, especially considering that it's free. It offers a range of features, including daily horoscopes, uh, birth chart analysis and more. I haven't, I just haven't explored it much. Uh, many users rave about the app's user-friendly interface and the depth of the insights. I know that there are good astrologers working on that app. Okay, another one that received high praise is Luna, though I haven't actually tried that one myself at all. It does require a subscription but many users feel that the in-depth analysis and the customizable features are well worth the investment. It's very aesthetically pleasing also. It's the prettiest app in my opinion. Um, so if you're willing to pay for a high quality Astro app, Luna might be worth considering as well if you're into aesthetics. So I'm gonna tell you what not to do though, okay? So while there are many astrology apps out there that offer valuable insights and helpful tools, there are also some that fall short in terms of accuracy and depth, okay? One app that I personally believe falls into this category is CoStar. Now, I understand that this app has gained a lot of popularity and may have improved slightly in recent years, but in my experience, its astrological predictions and analysis have been vague not particularly accurate, and bordering on rude and offensive at times, honestly. They consider themselves brutally honest, like that's in their product description, so do with that what you will. In my opinion, it's important to be discerning when it comes to choosing astrology resources, and for me, CoStar is a no-go. There are many other apps and websites out there that offer friendly, detailed, and accurate 
analysis with less attitude, and I believe it is worth taking the time to find one that truly resonates with you and your individual chart. Um, go ahead and comment below if you use CoStar and if you think it's improved in the past couple years, if you think they finally hired astrologers. I haven't heard anything about that, so let me know. And that brings us to the third tool that I use, and that is software, astrology software. As a professional astrologer, I rely heavily on astrology software programs to support my practice. I'd like to share with you my top two favorite astrology software programs, one for Mac and one for Windows. These programs are invaluable investment for astrologers or for anyone looking to pursue astrology professionally. Even if you're just starting to explore astrology or if you're an experienced practitioner already, these software programs are very useful for any astrology enthusiast. Okay, Windows users, if you're looking for a comprehensive astrology software program, SolarFire is pretty much the only option. If I'm wrong, please let me know in the comments. I'd love to know of other Windows astrology software. This program is only for Windows and requires some effort to get to know as it's not very intuitive in my opinion, but it offers an astronomical range of features and tools, including natal progression, direct, any planet or asteroid return, prenatal rising setting, lunar phases, locality, um, composite, harmonic, real-time clock. Uh, I use that all the time. It's up on my computer all the time, the real-time clock. Animated charts, there's 30 house systems, there's an encyclopedia, which is super cool, natal, sinistry, transiting, progressed, I already said all that. Um, there are dynamic reports like time map graphs and planet or electional searches, and there are calendars, I haven't even been able to figure out, but there are calendars which would be cool to use. There's all kinds of forecasting charts and custom ephemeris tables and so much more. Like I said, I haven't even been able to dive in, there's so much. Um, Solar Fire is $360 and it is very advanced. Again, it's not the most intuitive, but it is the only thing we have for Windows. This program was first um, produced in 1992 and it seems like they have not updated the interface since then. Like it feels like a dinosaur when you open it. It looks like I'm in, it takes you back to 1995. Um, I say all this with love because I use it every day. So after watching a couple of tutorials and dinking around on it a little bit, you'll definitely be good to go. I'm not trying to scare you out of getting it. I'm just saying I don't want you to be surprised, okay? So we have Solar Fire. The next software I want to talk about is for Mac, and this is Astro Gold. If you're a Mac user looking for a comprehensive astrology software program, Astro Gold is a fantastic choice. Astro Gold for Mac is the latest and Astro Gold for Mac is latest in reliable and elegant astrology software for Mac computers. This software has a similar feature set and design to the much loved iOS Astro Gold app of the same name. And apparently it's created by the same people who made Solar Fire. It offers amazing features and tools, including interactive charts, attractive high-res wheels, dials, and grids. It's definitely more aesthetically pleasing. Um, they have all of the different returns, natal, transit, solar return, lunar return, progression. There's a graphic ephemeris with many customizable options. There's, I like this, there's astrolocality mapping, there's locational astrology, there's zodiacal releasing tables, there's perfection tables, lunar mansion tables. There's, it's a very user-friendly interface and easy navigation. It's much more intuitive than Solar Fire, in my opinion. So if you are a Mac using astrology enthusiast looking for a software program that can take your practice to the next level, I highly recommend Astro Gold. It's definitely worth checking out. Um, while it may be a little bit more advanced, it's still a great resource for beginners looking to learn and explore. And it is usually $260 and right now it's on sale for $230. It is my favorite astrology software. I would use it on Windows if I could. And if you're already well versed in astrology, Astro Gold is the next step up with its extensive range of features and tools. And so that wraps up 
the three tools, but I do have a bonus. We all know how I love bonuses, right? It seemed wrong to mention astrology resources and tools and not endorse some books, some texts. If I were to start my astrology practice again, these are the texts I would dive into. I gotta go get them. Okay, these are the books I recommend. Right here. Got it? Just kidding. If I were to start my astrology practice again, these are the texts I would dive into. First up, for those who like to learn through reading and exercises, I highly recommend On the Heavenly Spheres. Um, this book offers a comprehensive introduction to astrology with chapters that are, that are followed by review exercises, which I think is really cool. Um, it helps you solidify your understanding if you have some exercises after you read each of the chapters. So another great book is Ancient Astrology in Theory and in Practice, a Manual of Traditional Techniques, Volume 1. There is a Volume 2, but we're going to start with Volume 1 by Demetra George. This book delves into the history and the origins of astrology, offering a fascinating look at the development of this ancient art. I highly recommend this. This one also has exercises at the end. Um, it's a bit more comprehensive, though. Okay, and for those who prefer a more technical and comprehensive text, I definitely recommend Hellenistic Astrology, The Study of Fate and Fortune by Chris Brennan. This book is a bit more advanced, but it offers a wealth of information and is a great resource for those who want to take a deeper dive into astrology. This one is my favorite book. I, I like technical texts and I like the timeline. I like how this is written. It's very absorbable in my opinion, but other people might disagree. Um, okay, and lastly, for those who are interested in reading ancient astrology straight from the horse's mouth, I recommend Christian Astrology, books one and two by William Lilly himself, edited by uh, David. <laughs> These books offer a unique, so this is two books in one here, and they offer a unique look at astrology from a perspective of a renowned astrologer from the past. Like this is straight from the horse's mouth, the guy who um, is teaching the things that we use in our everyday practice. Uh, plus, it's kind of fun to see ancient delineations. They're kind of funny, you know, as long as you don't take them too seriously. Okay. So those are the books. I have a bonus bonus tool. I know you you love me at this point. If it helps a lot to learn about astrology in community. If you're interested in joining a free community full of friendly mystics and astrology enthusiasts, you are definitely welcome to chat with me and a bunch of other cool people in the Ninth House Discord server. Uh, link to join is in the description. I provide weekly rising sign horoscopes to my patrons at the beginning of every week. So if you're interested in keeping up to date with what's going on with your sign every week, um, go ahead and check the link in the description. I also do monthly horoscopes in r and rs where I give you the important dates of the month as well as some remediations and remedies to make things easier or to take advantage of the good things happening in the month. Remember, there are so many wonderful resources available to help, whether you prefer websites, apps, software, or books. The key is to find the divination tools that resonate with you and help you connect with the rhythms of the universe. So do you have any favorite astrology tools or resources that I should know about? Please let me know in the comments. I'd love to know what y'all read and listen to and use. Open my eyes to new tools. As always, comment below if you have any questions or if you need any clarification. Don't forget to like and subscribe if you got something out of this, and I will see you next time.